my mind is just processing everything that you're saying in, in such a wonderful way. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've got a million and one questions swirling in my head here for you, but let me just extract one here for you, Pearl. If someone, someone's listening to this episode and they're saying, okay, you went, you embraced the award and you now have come to realize that by receiving, you're not taking or stealing away from somebody else. But how, how, how did you get there? It doesn't seem, sometimes it seems easier said than done. Help me to understand how, what would you say to that person? Um, do you know, I, one of the things, um, you know, a lot of the time is, I think it was Helen Keller that said, the only way out is through. And a lot of it is about awareness and, um, the first self-help book that I wrote is called Free and it's called Feeling Real Emotions Every Day. So it's F-R-E-E. -E. And I learned from Don Miguel Ruiz, a really great teacher. And he was talking about, you know, that all, all emotions are real, okay? But sometimes what we're responding to isn't real. And sometimes we have created like a habit response. So it's not a, a truthful or authentic response. You know, it's, it's that. So what we do is we go down into the emotion. So we don't run away from it. We don't use meditation to block it. We examine it, you know, um, in a similar way to a therapist would do, you know, and what's this about? And we, and we go down, 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 you know, is this an authentic response? If so, is the, um, uh, is the thing that we're responding to real or is it imagined? You know, so sometimes we respond to something because we're afraid that something might happen. You know, we, we're imagining it um, or we assume something or we mis mishear something, misinterpret something. Um, so again, it's about going down into that. And a lot of it is about just getting very grounded and and listening and often we get triggered you know it's again we talk about ptsd in my training and when we get triggered it's not about running away from that trigger you know it's about taking you know learning to take care of ourselves you know and realizing that whatever's coming out needs to come out you know and that trigger is there to serve us it's, it's there to say, okay, what's happening? Why is this happening? And if I listen to my feelings, I can say, well, what does this feel like? You know? So for example, with, with winning an award, you know, when I, when I go back in my story and I remember that time, I remember that feeling of guilt. Um, and then I can allow that to come up. 